Robert Alvarez is a nuclear expert with the Institute for Policy Studies. Mr. Alvarez, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Any time we hear the words explosion and nuclear power plant in the same sentence, it makes people fear the worst. We've seen two explosions now at this particular nuclear power plant, one in reactor number one, or at least in the building, one in reactor number three's building. Put them in perspective for me. Well, I think, you know, the, these events are unprecedented, and uh, I, I think that the, the, uh, the evidence that has been made public as to what's happening there uh, indicates that the uh, reactor operators, the government, probably with the help of the United States military, are still wrestling to gain control over the situation. For tonight's Conversations with Great Minds, I'm joined by Robert Alvarez, senior scholar at the Institute for Policy Studies. For five years, Mr. Alvarez served as one of the Senate's primary staff experts on nuclear weapons and helped establish the environmental cleanup program for the Department of Energy. He also led teams to North Korea to establish control of nuclear weapons materials in that country. If there indeed is no water covering that spent fuel rod, how dire is the situation? Well, if the water were to drain, uh, probably uh, because of a uh, hole or a crack in the pool wall. It's, it's basically a race against time because what has happened is that uh, plant operators have not been able to cool down the core of, I understand, of at least two reactors, which contain enormous amounts of radioactivity because of built backup diesel generators. Why do you say that this will be a showstopper? Why are you so sure? Well, I think that because uh, this is an event that uh, no one had really anticipated and assumed would not happen. And, uh, and so it's time to sort of do, do uh, some, some major reassessments about, especially in this country, about the advisability of having operating reactors in uh, in, in, act, in seismically active zones, particularly on the western coast of the United States and mm -hmm. parts of the southeast. It's even worse because of the this destruction and havoc wreaked by the earthquakes and the tsunamis. I mean, yeah. it's a very tragic uh, and difficult situation, and I certainly uh, uh, have great sympathy for the survivors and the emergency responders and everybody that is trying to pitch in to uh, uh, keep people out of harm's way right now and try to restore some uh, some modicum of, of, of life support to uh, the population. Yeah. Uh, these pools are not under the thick containment. Uh, there are 34 reactors that have elevated pools 70 to 80 feet above ground. Like Vermont, Daiichi. Or Vermont Yankee, for example, yeah. and Daiichi. And that, um, uh, for example, the Vermont Yankee uh, plant, which has an elevated pool, has roughly five times uh, the amount of uh, spent fuel uh, in all the individual reactors at wow. that site.